Very little attention is given to the lost bathing pools at Oyante Tambo. Nobody talks about them. During an era long before our recorded history, a time that obviously existed, well-engineered mountainside aqueducts fed into these bathing pools. Next, the water poured from the holes that are still there in the stonework, and then down to the megalithic terraces below. It must have been gorgeous. Then, it all ended. Nobody knows why. Another unknown amount of time passed before the Huari, the Tiwanaku, and then finally the Inca found this ancient and almost inaccessible site. And the Inca immediately saw the design intent and they rebuilt the aqueducts and copied the terraces and put in stone steps so that they could get all the way to the top. The Inca expanded everything tenfold, aqueducts and all, and then they flourished for hundreds of years. But next, the Spanish came and they destroyed the aqueducts and the Incas. The water dried up and the bathing pools were forgotten. The aqueducts became nothing more than footpaths. More centuries passed, and today we climb these Inca steps all the way to the top. And then we walk about this ancient site trying to figure out the puzzle. And it is a crazy puzzle. The next time you're there though, try to figure out how the original ancient stonemasons managed to actually get to the temple and to the bathing pools before the Inca arrived much, much later and put in the stone stairs. But it's just another piece of the puzzle, or another clue, depending on how you look at things. Thank you.